guys. I am excited to talk to you today about the nervous system. Now, the nervous system isn't what makes you nervous. It's a system that's made up of nerves, and nerves are how we gather information about our surroundings and how we respond to changes in our environment. They can help us uh, feel things if they're rough or hard or smooth or sticky or wet. They help us um, move the muscles in our body. They help us to uh, help our heart to keep beating. They do all kinds of really important things for our bodies. And the main controller of that system is the brain. And we're going to be using some color coding today. I'm going to color all of my central nervous system green. Now the central nervous system is important because it includes your brain and your spinal cord. Remember your spinal cord is protected by your vertebrae in your back and it connects to all of the smaller nerves that go throughout your body okay they regulate or control all the activities that your body uh, goes through and so i'm going to shade this green all of my central nervous system i'm going to color code green so if you're using the online notes you can put the green box one of the green boxes over the central nervous system Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the brain. Now the brain is a very important part of uh, the nervous system because it is the control center. It controls um, all of the activities and processes information and stores your memories, gives you the ability to talk and hear words and understand. It helps your brain to translate the images that you see into recognizable things. So the brain is vitally important to being able to go through all of our life experiences. It defines who we are as a person. And it's divided into three main parts. The cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the medulla and each part of the brain does a little bit different job and helps your brain to function um, in the way that it's intended the first part we're going to talk about is the cerebrum this is what you think of when you think of the brain right it's all of this kind of wrinkly area, right? This is the cerebrum. And the cerebrum is divided into parts that control different things. The cerebrum controls voluntary movement. Remember, voluntary means things that we control. This, and it controls our senses. Okay, so the cerebrum is divided into two parts, right? You've seen pictures of brains before, right? Uh, even diagrams. And they're divided into these two kind of lobes or halves called hemispheres, just like the, the world. Now, this part of our brain has a lot of storage capacity. It enables us to hear, to taste food, to um, blink uh, our eyes when we are controlling that, right? Voluntary uh, movements and our senses. So when we hear things, when we see things, when we taste things, when we touch things, all of that is controlled by the cerebrum. Now, there's another part that's a little bit uh, smaller and it's called the cerebellum. Now, the cere cerebellum gives feedback on body positioning based on 
received sensory information. So it's taking in information and gives feedback so that you can change your body based on what your body is going through, right? So this is, for example, when you go to put your hand on, you put it on a stove and it's hot and you pull your hand back really quick, right? That's that instant feedback that your cerebellum is helping your body to do, okay? Uh, and the cerebellum is this little piece right here. It kind of goes around the base of the brain, which is called the brain stem, okay? And we can draw us a little arrow there. And this arrow is to our cerebrum. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got our uh, cerebrum, we've got our cerebellum, and we also have, what was the last part? The medulla. The medulla controls the spinal cord. That's why it's at the base of the spinal cord in our brain. And it also controls involuntary function. Things like breathing, your heart rate, digestion, all of that is controlled by your uh, medulla. And your medulla, if we draw our little arrow, it's all the way up here, okay? So we've got those three parts of the brain, okay? But the brain, remember, is not the only part of the central nervous system, okay? And I'm gonna go around the edges of this one and shade it green so that we remember that it's a part of what? The central nervous system, right? The central nervous system includes the brain and it also includes, what did we write over there a second ago? It includes the spinal cord. And we know that the spinal cord is protected by our vertebrae down our back, right? But it is a very important part of relaying information to and from your brain, okay? So the spinal cord helps carry messages. That's the easy way to think of it. Or signals back and forth between your brain and your body. This is important. This is like the super highway of information, right? Your spinal cord. It is super important for getting information about how your body is doing, right? Whether it's something voluntary or involuntary, all of that information has to get to your brain somehow. And it gets there by our super highway, our spinal cord, okay? It conducts sensory information Sensory means from our senses, from the peripheral, peripheral nervous system, right? What does that fancy word mean, peripheral? Well, peri, just like when you calculate the perimeter of something, is a word part that means around. And so these are the nerves that are around the body, okay? And so it takes information from the periphery, from the peripheral nervous system around the body, and takes that information to the brain on that superhighway, okay? It conducts information from the brain to various muscle groups and glands, which are tied to our excretory system, right? So the important thing that the spinal cord does is relay information. And it relays this by using signals, electric signals. This is your body's very own electric power company. <laughs> it is the electricity um, that sends messages to your brain, enables your brain to make decisions about changes, and sends that information back to nerves to make those changes, okay? Again, spinal cord is part of our central nervous system, so I'm going to shade this box green like I did the other one, okay? I'm also going to shade my spinal cord here, green. So, 
you can see in your diagram that it runs all the way down to your tailbone right and those nerves all meet in your spinal cord to be able to get that information to your brain okay so now we're going to switch just a little bit and we are going to talk about the peripheral nervous system okay the peripheral nervous system we're going to use purple because purple and peripheral both start with the letter p and hopefully it will help you remember the peripheral nervous system includes all of the nerves that are outside the central nervous system or cns right central nervous system uh, CNS central nervous system okay so outside of the central nervous system if it's a nerve then it is part of your peripheral nervous system remember peripheral means around these are the nerves that are around the body okay the peripheral nervous system connects the central nervous system remember these are our two type two parts of the nervous system to muscles organs skin and it helps you coordinate your movements by sending information to your muscles to contract or relax depending on what your brain wants it to do in behaviors right how you respond to things in your environment right when you get chill bumps that's a behavior right that's your body shivering to contract those little tiny muscles in our skin to give us a little bit of insulation in the air around us with our hairs so movements and behaviors are what are controlled by all of these peripheral nerves right the ones that are all around the body now in the peripheral nervous system we have two different parts because we have some things that are automatic or autonomic autonomic nerves regulate things like breathing digestion they are involuntary involuntary actions like breathing and digesting your food and your somatic somatic nervous system which controls things that are voluntary that you control things like muscle movement and reflexes are controlled by your somatic nervous system okay so autonomic that's like automatic right it's controlled automatically because these are involuntary things like breathing your heart beating digesting food your somatic nervous system controls a lot of movement right voluntary things reflexes right so think of this one as moving and this one as automatic okay and we're going to color in our peripheral nerves with purple okay so all of these guys that are all around the body and you have them that are deep and you have them that are close to the surface of the skin so you can shade the whole body you've got nerves here in your mouth that help you uh, move your tongue and talk you have them here in your shoulders and arms that help you contract your muscles and feel your surroundings like a fly that lands on your shoulder you have them in your legs that help you run and move or um, wrestle with your siblings right all over your body from deep deep down in your muscles and organs to all the way to the tops of your skin that take in information so the peripheral nervous system is how we gather information about our surroundings and how we respond to those surroundings okay and all of this is made possible by nerves nerves are specialized cells called neurons oops that should be e. neurons these carry messages remember those electric impulses 
from one part of the other, one part of the body to the other, using electric signals, right? It's electrifying. Learning about the nervous system is so totally electrifying. I hope that helps you guys understand a little bit more about the nervous system uh, so that you can fill in your notes uh, as well. Have a great day, guys.